If you've been following the work of SpaceX, you probably already know that the next big thing for the company was an orbital project. While initial news and reports emerged a year ago, in June 2021, Elon Musk confirmed that the SpaceX Starship was set to go orbital in July. The audience was thrilled, and everyone set their eyes on the clock. However, it's August now, and it has gotten a little late on the speculated timetable. For whatever reason, the orbital could not take place in July. But we all know Musk, don't we? He's a passionate man of science, and he's determined to make it happen. So let's look at the most recent events happening at SpaceX. Around some time last year, Elon made waves in the media by revealing significant progress of his new SpaceX orbital project and saying it was coming soon. The company successfully created several prototypes of the craft and conducted different test flights. It is worth mentioning that these test flights were multiple but short, and only one of the numerous test crafts landed back in one piece. Needless to say, these prototypes were very tall, around 160 feet in height, nearly the same size as a building with 16 floors. According to SpaceX, the orbital project would include the Starbase flight taking off from Texas and reaching orbit. The test site is located in southern Texas, Boca Chica's beach town, a remote area very ideal for aerospace programs. Next, the company would collect all the data from the craft and prepare it for a smooth return. Finally, the craft was set to return to Earth near Hawaii. The whole excitement around the project was not just because it was another Elon Musk adventure. It was foreseen that if this project went smoothly, all the future launches would start becoming more controlled. Their launching and landing events would become safer, smoother, and far more efficient than ever. Moreover, the company believes that taking people and cargo to Mars and the Moon for missions and experiments would become safer, faster, and more efficient. Musk wants to make the Starship a reusable craft that would work as an airplane. It would have shorter turnaround times between its flights, and the only high cost of the craft would be the fuel. In order to make sure that the Starship is reusable, it was important for the company to focus on the durability of the craft. Reusing a craft again and again means that it has to re-enter the planet's atmosphere several times. Piercing through that pressure repeatedly requires incredible strength and durability. As an answer to this problem, SpaceX rolled out its unique hexagonal small heat shield tiles. On Sunday, SpaceX installed a total of 29 Raptor engines for the booster, with Musk on site to witness and supervise the progress. On Tuesday, 3rd of August, SpaceX successfully rolled out their Starship rocket booster, Super Heavy 4. This rocket booster would launch the orbital flight, and hence the preparations were being made. The same day, Musk took to social media to share various photos of the vehicle as well as the booster. It is also worth mentioning that the booster was around 230 feet in height, all by itself. The craft that is set to launch finally is Prototype 20 of Starship. Considering that the prototype is as tall as a 16-story building, together with the Super Heavy booster, the entire stack would be around 400 feet at the time of the launch. The only thing that stood in the way of SpaceX making history was an environmental review by the local Federal Aviation Administration. If the review was completed, the launch was set to happen. As of the 6th of August 2021, the orbital spacecraft and its booster are stacked and finally ready for launch. The stacked model has confirmed speculations. It is, in fact, 400 feet tall. We are witnessing the craft with a heat shield sitting on top of the launch pad, ready to take off. If this goes well, this could potentially become a weekly scenario by next year, 2022. If that sounds crazy to you, by 2023, it is expected to happen on a daily basis. Yes. Every day, reused starships would take cargo, machines, and humans to outer space to conduct experiments, collect data, or maybe have a Sunday picnic. Who knows? Right now, Elon Musk's spacecraft is ready to make the launch and complete the orbital flight. His competitors, however, are far behind. With Blue Origin planning to test their BE-4 engine in 2022, the company is around five years behind SpaceX. The latter has already completed the design. In fact, SpaceX will be moving on to the testing part of the project by next month or so. It has been decades since the United launch has made their personalized rocket engines. They use Russian ones instead and make do with old engines and parts of the space shuttle. Right now, they are eagerly waiting for the infamous B-4 engines to launch. 
European and Russian space agencies have almost completely stopped commercial launches, which they previously used to dominate. Even though China is on board and launching rockets frequently, their crafts are not nearly reusable, so even China is far behind the progress that SpaceX is making. What's more, SpaceX has also been working on creating newer, better launch facilities more rapidly. They are working tirelessly on launch towers and rocket catching systems and creating mass production rocket systems. Plus, the company is converting various oil rigs into launching landing facilities. Elon's company also innovated stainless steel rockets. So, apart from reusability and rocket technology, SpaceX has been making waves in the aerospace market for many different reasons. And if this flight goes well, it would only speed things up and take Elon's company many steps ahead in the game. Open CNBC asked Musk how he felt about this project. He replied via a tweet, saying it was a dream come true. Well, one thing is for sure, Elon, it is not just a dream come true for you, but for many aerospace enthusiasts and experts worldwide. If it goes well, this flight could change many things for the upcoming generations of aerospace technology, which is why millions and billions of eyes are fixed on SpaceX's Starship Prototype 20. These eyes include those of NASA, which is paying very close attention to the development of this project right now. And the reason behind this incredible interest is not just curiosity, but also an investment. NASA had recently awarded the company with a $2.9 billion contract, which stirred quite a controversy in the market. In an interview with Musk, he said that this NASA contract potentially saved him and his company. In a recent tweet, Thomas Zerboken, a top official from NASA, said he is very excited to see SpaceX achieve its milestone. According to Musk, there are four essential steps to be completed before Starship launches in the following couple of weeks. First, the company has to add the final touches to the craft, thermal protection for the Raptor engines in the booster and the last heat shield tiles for the ship. The craft is about 98% covered with them. The last few tiles require machining because of their unique shapes. Second, SpaceX has yet to add the QD quick disconnect arm to the launch tower and finish working on the ground propellant storage tanks. The QD arm is to successfully connect the fuel lines and power to the craft before it launches, and these final touches should take around two weeks to complete. In the upcoming two weeks, we will see a spacecraft emerge into the sky and come back down to complete years of work for SpaceX and change the potential of aerospace technology. The doors that this project could potentially open for science are beyond one's imagination. We are talking about scientists and experts going into space multiple times in a single day to complete substantial research and bring technological development to Earth. Moreover, in a few years, it could be possible that people Ordinary people and the general public could pack their lunch, take trips into outer space, and witness the universe with their own eyes. Are you as excited as I am? What are your expectations with this project? Do you believe it will go well? Comment down below.